I was raised on the Flathead Indian Reservation in uh, Montana. This is a love story. It's a, a love story of Ed and Kay Lester. Well, then the war started in 39 when I was 12, and, and that was tough. And I enlisted in the Army Nurse Corps as a second lieutenant. The very first word that I learned in this country was a speed limit. We were married for 59 years before I passed away. Having been adopted at a young age, I've always had an interest in my family history, where I was born, uh, where I came from, even my ethnicity. The Living Legacy Program allows senior members as well as younger members of the family to connect. I think it's important that senior members have an opportunity to share their stories and more importantly, talk about the decisions they made that helped shape a family history. I think this gives validation, it gives uh, family members a sense of pride in knowing that they made a difference, not only for themselves, but for their entire family. When Wayne was five, he got polio. And uh, then my dad took my sister and I to Kalispell for my aunt to take care of. And my girlfriend was married to a man from Spokane. You had to have a sponsor at that time, and they were our sponsors. Mm -hmm. And you, why did you want to come here? I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband, yes. Yes, and it took him a whole year to convince me. But he finally said, okay, I married the wrong woman. And I thought, hmm, no. He married the right woman, and I'm, I'm going to prove. Not only do you get the real story behind a family history, but you get their words, their voice, their inflection, and most importantly, you get their excitement and emotions behind each story they recall. Uh, we first met in 1955 at Washington State College at a fraternity sorority exchange. That turned out to be probably the most significant social event in either of our lives. Marrying Keith was one of the best things I ever did because he opened up a whole new world for me. These days there's so much interest in genealogy, ancestry, family roots, even technology is allowing individuals to take DNA testing to find out where they originated. And that day the Americans did bomb Göttingen and a piece of shrapnel went over his bas Hans's bassinet and stuck in the wall. So embedded in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My brother still has that piece of shrapnel today. When Karen started first grade, we decided we'd become naturalized uh, US citizens. And we had to go to, to classes and school and I didn't need that. I know everything. And I flunked it. I flunked it. I couldn't believe it. I think the most powerful thing that you can get out of the Living Legacy program is not just the stories, but the stories from the people who lived it. And I don't think it can get any better than that. I hope to imbue my kids with similar values as my own. I think one of the keys to our success perhaps has been our trust in each other. As this story comes to its close, the romance continues. This is Amanda, my granddaughter, my first granddaughter. Oh, I love you, Grandma. Thank you for doing this. Love you. <laughs>